Hey guys, it's Trev. In today's video, we're going to take an in-depth look at the brand new version 10 software that just went out to the Tesla fleet. So we're inside my car three at last. Here are the release notes. Now, before I begin, the one feature that everybody is talking about, which is Smart Summon. Unfortunately, I can't show you that today because I'm in Canada. It has not been approved by regulators. So look for a future video of if and when that becomes available, I'll be able to show you that. Let's dive in. Version 10 software. So the first thing in the release notes here is this new game called Cuphead. Now, Cuphead is a really, really challenging game. I have it on my Xbox. I've played it. It's available here in the cars. By the way, when you get version 10 software, this has to be sideloaded through a separate download. So don't expect to be able to play it right away. It will require a wired USB controller. So something like a PlayStation or a uh, Xbox controller. You plug that into one of the USB ports. The next one here is Tesla Theater. So Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, uh, Tesla tutorials are now available. There are spots, things, features in the future. So we're looking forward to that. Spotify. Um, this is one of the features that everybody's been requesting because <laughs> Slacker, TuneIn, eh, not the best, but Spotify has been available in Europe for a number of years now, but now they finally brought it to North America, so we're looking forward to that. I don't have a subscription yet, but that is something I'm going to consider looking at. Karaoke is a new feature where in the entertainment system you can bring up things like uh, karaoke uh, curated songs uh, from Tesla. Uh, I'm sure they'll be able to add more in the future. I will not bore you to death with my singing abilities. Driving visualization. Now, yesterday I took a long drive in my car and the driving visualizations are truly incredible. They're really buttery smooth as well. I'll show you that in a separate uh, segment here a little bit later in the video, but uh, it's this section here. Unfortunately, you won't be able to look at this on a Model S or a Model X, given that the uh, there's no touch screen, of course, for the instrument cluster where the autopilot data is displayed. So it's pretty much a Model 3 feature only. Some improvements to automatic lane change. Again, some of my driving video I'll show you a little bit later. Uh, shows you the visualization when you change lanes in the car, either through navigate on autopilot or manually. Shows you where the car is going to go. Very cool. Some improvements to the navigation system. Two extra buttons, feeling lucky or hungry, uh, which pulls up a variety of different places. So we'll take a look at that a little bit later. So here we have some map improvements. So Tesla says they've improved the maps to make it easier to find and navigate where you want to go. So when searching for a destination, there's autocomplete now. So looking forward to that. Some improvements here to the mobile app. So you can thaw your car in the cold winter by conveniently enabling max defrost, of course. We now have the venting function. I'll show you that here in a second. So you can open and close your windows. Here's an often request feature people wanted to be able to open and close the windows so under controls if you press vent in the top left hand corner there I'll do it here off camera so you can see the windows doing it windows crack open about two inches and it says close so if you press that the windows close and of course if your windows are all the way down you can press the close button and it will roll the windows up let me do it here So there are some dash cam improvements. So not only does the dash cam record from the front camera, but also the side cameras, but now in version 10, they've added the rear camera. So a lot of people have been asking for that. So that's gonna make it even better. So there are some sentry mode improvements. The sentry mode clips are now saved to a separate folder. So they're no longer buried on your USB storage device uh, along with the, the uh, dash cam clips. That's really welcome there. We have a new Joe mode, which reduces the sound of the alerts inside the car. So if you have kids sleeping or passengers sleeping, you can reduce those. Software update improvements, of course, when software updates come down, you get a progress bar. And when they uh, are installed, you get a new progress bar. In addition to that, it's also shown in your Tesla app on your phone. So you can actually see the uh, progress of the installation. So really welcome improvements. Some other improvements to Bluetooth media, of course. They've reorganized a little bit of the application launcher and uh, more driver profile storage uh, functions and stuff. So let's dig in and see some of the extra features that are in V10. Taking a look at entertainment, if I bring up the panel, you will now see that we have karaoke, which pulls up a bunch of different uh, songs that you can play. They're categorized into different song charts. You have them all organized in decades, of course, different languages. There's a specific Disney mix, so the kids are going to love this stuff. Different things like party mixes, functions with duets, which allow two people to sing, and any new tracks that they release are going to be found under this tab. Here's Spotify. Unfortunately, I can't show you Spotify because I don't have a uh, premium account, but if you do, you get all the Spotify stuff in there. So I'm going to consider uh, subscribing to that. So let's look at the application launcher, pulling that. You can see here now the calls have been moved. They used to be over here. So the call dialer is there, the calendar is there, the camera, energy, charging, web, 
and now the entertainment function. So pressing that brings up a new tab. So you have theater on one side and arcade on the left. So under theater, you can just tap any one of these icons to go into your account. Let's uh, bring up Netflix, for example. So here's the Netflix interface. It looks uh, pretty much like um, any Netflix that you would have on, um, so you have your playlist and so on and so forth. So, and it's really, really smooth. Like if you just press resume, and you can bring up the scroll bar so you can just kind of go anywhere you want. You have things like um, your captions, subtitles. You can bring up different episodes so you can just kind of skip to whatever episode you want. By the way, I'm not on uh, Wi-Fi right now. I'm on the LTE connection. Now, those of you who may have an SR Plus car, Standard Range Plus with no premium connectivity, um, you can tether to your phone. Tesla has enabled this for Wi-Fi usage. But uh, right now, I'm just over LTE, and the quality is uh, really quite good. All right, let's uh, dump out of Netflix. Let's hop into YouTube. So here's the YouTube. It looks pretty much like any other YouTube uh, app that we would find on any mobile device or a, or a tablet. Hey, take a moment, subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of really cool videos coming out, and I wouldn't want you to miss anything. So tapping on any one of these will bring up the video. And just like anything else, you can kind of scroll through and just... Pick a spot anywhere you want in the video. That's the Jetta Hub. I have it here in my car. Really great product. Anyway, so that's YouTube. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a hack. If you're like me and you use Plex as your multimedia server at home, you can't run it in the web browser full screen. It's you know a little bit small. So I'm going to show you the workaround. What you need to do is go into the YouTube app, sign into your account, and then tap your icon here in the top right, and then click Manage Your Google Account. When you pull it up, it's just a web view, so you can go at any one of your other apps. You can pull up your Gmail, uh, much like you can in the web browser, but this is, runs kind of full screen, and go into your Gmail. Email yourself the link to your Synology or your Plex account. I use a Synology server at home. And you just tap the link, and ta-da! It logs into my Plex account, and then I have access to all of my multimedia, and it's running full screen. And the speed is pretty good. Have to have your cake and eat it too. So that's how you can run Plex full screen in your car. Hulu, you need a subscription for this? I don't have a subscription, so unfortunately I can't really show you anything in here. And in here you have your Tesla tutorials. So if you're new to the Model 3, watch these tutorials. They're okay, not so bad. I have better ones here on my YouTube channel if you tap playlists and go look at the Model 3 tutorials, I have much better tutorials. Anyways, I highly recommend you watch those. So under Navigate, you now have a Hungry button or a Lucky button. Pressing the Hungry button just brings up kind of random places. Doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason as to where it goes. Just picks things at random. Uh, same thing for Lucky. If you just pick that, it just picks popular spots. Looks like by rating. Most of these have uh, anywhere from uh, four to five stars. Good places to visit. And I haven't noticed any differences in the backup camera. Seems to be the same. Occasionally they'll do software updates and this may change the uh, backup camera, but I don't see anything in this one. Same thing with the charge port. Everything looks pretty much exactly the same thing. Let's take a look at the energy graph. Same thing in there, nothing's changed. So if you want to enable Joe mode, here's how you do it. Tap settings, go down to safety and security, scroll down a little bit, and then you'll see Joe mode. Just turn that on. Of course, you can tap the eye icon and it gives you an example of what it actually does, quieter chimes, blah, blah, blah. So that's where you find Joe mode. We'll take a moment here and just talk about the driving visualizations. If I just put the car into drive, put the parking brake on, just get rid of this stuff and I just move the car around, you can see that you can get a 360 degree view of your car. Now, why it sees a pedestrian, I have no idea. Anyway, um, how useful is this? Eh, I don't know, but I have a feeling that this may 
um, be an indicator that Tesla may end up giving us some kind of 360 degree view of the car when we use the car, say in a parking lot, whatever. There's times when, you know, you, you could be in a situation where you could potentially hit a curb or damage some wheels or something like that. So being able to see three, uh, you know, the cameras in 360 degrees would be very welcome. But anyways, Tesla engineers just having fun. So let's go into arcade. You can see we have all the usual games, but we have a new one. This is the Cuphead game that I mentioned at the start of the video. Now it requires a side download. So once you get V10 installed, you're gonna go into games and you'll see a separate scroll bar that downloads this. It's too big to include in the uh, firmware. So they download it separately. Make sure you're on Wi-Fi. it's a big download. But once you do that, you'll need a USB controller. Now I happen to have a fairly inexpensive USB controller. This is something for an Xbox, USB on one end. So let's plug it into the USB port. And now I'm able to play the game. So tapping on that should load it. This is a very challenging game. If you've never used this, forget about using the steering wheel. You really need a USB controller for this. As you can see, it's a very challenging game to even get past the tutorial. We'll check that out a little bit later. Well, there you go. That's a quick tour of version 10 of the Tesla firmware that's currently going out to cars. If you want to get this update, make sure your car is connected to Wi-Fi and make sure that your software settings are set to advanced. Critically important that you do that. If you don't have Wi-Fi, you'll just have to be patient. It will come over LTE in due time. I like what I see. This is a very big update. Again, keep in mind, there's going to be some initial bugs. There are some more features that are supposedly coming, things like uh, texting capabilities and stuff. Again, Tesla said that uh, that will be in a subsequent update, maybe 10.1. Hope you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe because I have some more videos coming and I don't want you guys to miss out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.